Hello guys, in this video we'll see what for me is the most beautiful ant that I have ever seen. These ants are called Acromyrmex coronatus and they keep fungus just like the Ara. But they are much smaller. Here you can see a small piece of fungus that this queen is keeping and also some eggs. This other queen is also an Acromyrmex queen, but not an Acromyrmex coronatus. I donated this little piece of fungus to this queen from another one that died, and she accepted it, and has now some eggs. I managed to capture some queens, and I created some setups with them, and in this video we will see their progress. And this by far is my favorite setup, two queens working together to start a colony. Acromyrmex ants are polygonous, polygonous? Yeah, that means that they can have more than one queen in one colony. This colony is the one that's doing the best, so these two queens are going to be the stars of this video. Look how beautiful these ants are, I'm always impressed with the drawings on their body. They make these ants look very unique, and in my opinion, even mysterious. After I recorded the video on day 3, I decided to try feeding some plants from my backyard to the ants, to figure out which one they would like the most. After one day, I noticed that the one that I accepted the first were grape leaves. You can see that they already fed the fungus with it. We can also see that the queens have already some eggs attached to the fungus. Now, in day 5, we can see that the fungus has grown a lot. These two ladies have been working all day to accomplish that. You remember day 3? It's now more than double the size from that day. This bigger leaf is a grape leaf that they have been using to feed the fungus. You can see the areas that the ants cut it very clearly. Let's get a bit closer to the fungus and watch. Hey, look at that! You can see the ant licking the fungus? I'm not sure what exactly she's doing there, but I have never managed to shoot the doing it. I guess that she's taking care of the fungus somehow. It's now day 6 and the ants have been working non-stop to make the fungus bigger. Look how big it is now! You can see in the petal there, a drop of water. I need to keep this plaster humid and give the queen some water, since they are not in a test tube. Day 7 have arrived, and I now decided to feed the other colonies grape leaves too, now that I know that the ants like it, and it is safe for them. Back to our stars, by day 7 they have consumed all that piece of leaf that we saw in day 5. I decided to give them this grape leaf cut in a rectangle shape, that way we can see more clearly if they are cutting it. And they definitely are, look at that!
it's time to place some water in the plaster. I'm doing it every two days to keep the humidity on the setup. The plaster absorbs the water very quickly. After two more days our queens decided to start working on the shape of the fungus. Now it looks like a bowl, it's a great shape, perfect for holding the eggs. Can you see all those eggs there? All these tiny white dots are eggs that will turn into workers in the future. It's incredible how the ants manage to shape the fungus into the perfect shape for it to hold their brood. You remember our Ada queen in the first videos? She shaped her fungus in a similar way. Here we have one of our other queens that is also doing great. And she's now trying to explore my table. This one is alone but she's doing great compared to the other queens that I'm keeping alone too. She's also covered in white dust from the plaster, since there is no friend to help her keep herself clean in the areas that she can't reach. After a really busy week for me, I finally managed to have some time to record the ants again. I have been giving them plants and watering their setup to keep things going. And look at that, the fungus doubled in size, we have a second bowl shaped area now. These girls don't stop. Look, one of them is drinking the water. <laughs> now you guys can believe me that this technique works. She looks really cute drinking it. Again, two more days ahead, all the plant material is now part of the fungus. You probably noticed that I have always a two day interval between the videos. That is because recording the ant is a stressful process for them. I need to turn the lights on, open their container, that can stress the queens and compromise the start of the colony. They are very delicate, especially in the first stages. Taking a closer look, we can see some eggs that just turned into larvae. They are tiny and very hard to see. Finally we reached day 20. This is the last day that I am going to be covering in this video, but I'll try to post some short ones in the next days, so you guys can see what's going on in the colony. You can see clearly now some larvae laying around, they are getting bigger and will turn into pupae in the next days, I hope. So that's it for this video guys, and we just hit 500 subscribers, that's awesome! That's a great achievement for the channel, thanks for all your support. If you are still watching the video until here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and bye!
the world.